to the Crazy Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Don. I'm Mike the Explosive One. Let's crack into another one. TNT. Yo. What you got for me? Jonas, I'm going to let you know right now is that it's actually over for J. Cole. J. Cole? It's over. Okay. It's over for J. Cole. Now, Jonas, I don't know if you're familiar with, with the newest rap beef that is happening in the community right now, Jonas. Is it Drake and his lyricist? It is honestly one of the largest, and you're right, Drake is involved, though. Is it's he? one of the largest potential rap beefs that could that could happen in the near future, and we could see some real lyrical sparring occur out here in the community, Jonas. Are they going to fight in the UFC? So... No, I don't think they're going to fight in the UFC. I, I know you're just saying shit. All right, so... so uh, <laughs> you just ignore it? Yeah, it? I do. At this point. So Future and Metro Boom. And Jonas, are you familiar with these two, with these two uh, individuals? You know who Future is. Future, people, people like to uh, rag on him, I hear. Uh, okay, I wouldn't say that's what he's most known for. And I would say he's most known for his baby. Rick Flair song. He did. Yeah. He did do that. Rick so Flair Metro Trip. Boomin is a producer. Him and Drake have not seen eye to eye for years. What's that? I'm not exactly sure, but there's been a bunch he of sublim- sex with this girl, didn't he? I mean, you never know. You never know. There's funny that you should bring that up because that does come into play here. Okay. So, so let me kind of get through it a little bit. So Future and Metro Boomin have never really seen eye to eye, right? Okay. I mean, not few. I mean, Metro Boomin and Drake. I'm sorry. I okay. apologize. Metro Boomin and Drake have never really seen eye to eye. They they've kind of been on the outs for a long time. Future and Drake. When Future first came out, he had a song called Tony Montana. Tony Montana. You remember that song? I don't, but it it sounds bad. I got the Tony Montana. Drake was on the song. Actually, I would say it was that it was integral to Future's claim to fame to today. But he did not do, I don't know, he didn't do the music video for it. Future might have seen that as a slight. This was years ago. Okay. Currently, Future and Metro Boomin are doing a collaborative album. Okay. Drake has never done a collaborative album with uh, anybody except for he did one with 21 Savage, and I think he did one with uh, uh, Young Thug. Where they do like a whole album? Yeah, where they do like a whole album together. Okay. But on this collaborative album, they had... that's a bad choice, the second one. On this collaborative album, they had... uh, I mean, like Metro Boomin is a producer, so he just makes beats, essentially. Okay. But uh, so on this album... What's his tagline? On this album, they had... uh, Kendrick Lamar, I couldn't even tell you. They had Kendrick Lamar on the album, and he made some some statements that seemed like he was sending shots at Drake. Kendrick did? Kendrick Lamar was sending shots at Drake. Okay. On a Metro Boom Metro Boom and Future album. All right. Okay, what did he say? Something about lyrics? He said, you know, something about like it's the big three. No, it's just big me. Now, where that whole big three statement comes in is because J. Cole has said on a prior album about who the big three were. And who would the big three be? Drake, Kendrick, and Cole, right? That's the big three. That's the big three. Okay, they got some humor. When it comes to rap, I would say is that, yeah, I would think that those would be the, the top three guys who, like, lyri- lyrically, who you don't want to rap with. Well, you know? two of them. You, who, who else? Who don't you feel belongs to I mean, to well, one of them doesn't write his own lyrics, so how can he be up there? Fair enough. Anyways. <clears throat> Fair enough. Um, So, with that being said, he released... It was only one verse where he kind of got at it, and there was a lot of subliminals in this verse. Like he said, there's a lot of goofies with a check. Now... When he says there's a lot of goofies with a check, that means like Jerry came out with an album that was for all the dogs. Goofy was a type of dog. dog. Okay. Drake has a, a collaboration with Nike. What do Nikes do? They have checks. Or it could be he has a blue he has a blue check on Twitter because he's an official account. So a lot of goofies with a check. It's a lot. There's a lot of subliminals. In a Kendrick verse. Okay, you have yeah. to really I mean, get I mean, that's how he does it anyway. Exactly. So with that being said, Drake has not responded. He is currently on tour, but so is J. Cole. J. Cole releases a diss track back to Kendrick. It is not necessarily a diss track. He's just kind of like, you know, lyrical jabs at him. But in this track, he's J. Cole and Drake touring together. Exactly. I was say, they... So he's in the Drake camp. You got to look at it. It's, it's Kendrick Lamar, Metro Boomin and Future versus Drake, 21 Savage and J. Cole. Oh, they have a six man tag. I don't know if that's going to happen. 
happen, man. But that is what is happening. I don't think that will ever happen. But with that being said, we got to get into J. Cole because he's done. He's done. He did the one thing that a rapper can never do, Jonas. He released the diss track. He said that Kendrick, he said that your num your he said that the pimple butterfly put us to sleep in his in his rap, essentially. Wait, did he say that or did he code word? He it? did. He said your he said something about your number one uh contribution put us to sleep or something, and that would be the pimple butterfly, which is Kendrick's uh uh pr pr Best premier album. album. Um, so with that being said, he said that released the album. It was, it was okay. It was called might delete later. You might want to give it a listen to new J Cole material for you. I don't know how you feel about Cole. I mean, he's all right. I'm not listening to him anymore. I'm done. Oh, I'm done wow. with J Cole. Oh, cause you're a Kendrick guy. He gets up at Dreamville Fest, Jonas. He gets up on stage and this mother fudger has the audacity to apologize. Jonas, I'm going to play a little bit of that apology. I'm going to play a little bit okay. of that apology. Okay, right hold now. on. All right, okay. Right. So I'm so proud of that project, except for one part. It's one part of that shit that make me feel like, man, that's the lamest shit I ever did in my the fucking life. The lamest shit you ever did was apologize. And I know this is not what a lot of people want to hear. I know I can hear my niggas up there right now like, nah, do not do nah, it. I don't do that, but I got to keep it 100 with y'all, right? I damn near had a relapse, right? Because... Y'all heard some shit that happened two, two, three weeks ago, however long it was. Y'all heard that bazooka that was Three minutes and 20 day. seconds. So all of this time of me moving on my own oh my accord. God. I'm not listening to any more of this. I'm not listening to any more of this because it's the saddest thing to happen in rap what, forever. What did he say? I, I'm sorry. He, said, he, he apologized. He said, I'm sorry. I, I, he said, I couldn't sleep at night with the way that I critiqued Kendrick Lamar's album. Now, I want to say is that these two are friends off camera. All right, like when the when the cameras aren't rolling and everybody's not writing in the tabloids about them, they're friends. I feel like a lot of these guys, you know, they have a camaraderie. Well, they do that to spark controversy to sell albums. Exactly. But you are a professional rapper. The last thing you do is throw your hat into a rap battle and then bow out. That is the softest most light-skinned ass shit I've ever seen oh, in my wow. life. Yeah, Jonas, I'm there right now with I'm it. I'm there right now. I'm there right now with it. I'm there right now with it. That is, like, seriously, there is no worse infraction in the rap game than issuing a diss track or an attempted diss track. And then saying you're sorry. And then apologizing for it later, saying you can't sleep at night. You can't sleep at... Now, this is the thing. This isn't a rat. This isn't Biggie and Pac. All right. None of these guys are shooting. None of these guys are gang affiliated. None of these guys are gonna go. Are gonna risk their lives to go to jail. This is a friendly fight. This is. Fr this is. It's, it's a battle of words this only. Is, this is WWE. This is WWE. Okay. All right. You said. Oh, you said my album was boring. So what? What you apologizing for? What are you apologizing on the, on the most minis on the most uh, when you boil it down, Jonas, it's just high school. All right. It's people sitting around the table saying, oh, you broke you, you, uh, you, your dad worked for the, your dad worked for this company. Your mom's an astronaut. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's just dozens. It's just you just ragging on people. It doesn't matter if it's true. Right, right. You're just saying some stuff to. It's is his album boring? No, but it, when you're at Dreamville Fest, you're on stage in front of all of your fans, and they're expecting, and you just released a diss track, and then you want to say apologize. It is over. Is he? Is he? Canceled? It is over for J Cole. He's done. In my eyes, at least. Well, is he going country now? He's just going to change I don't, his... That's, that's funny, because you're making a Beyonce reference. I like that. <laughs> um, it's over. The man can't sleep at night. Well, look, I can't, I can't be you awake. can't sleep either. I can't sleep listening to J. Cole music anymore. And it's, it's very funny, man, because I, you know, I know you love J. Cole. I, I don't love him that you're much. You're a J. Cole fan. Bro. I'm not. You as much of a Drake fan it. as J. Cole fan, bro. Yeah, wait, Jonas, stop. Stop playing. I'm with not me. even joking. <laughs> Shut up. I've heard you listening to J. Cole. I have definitely listened to him. Doesn't mean I'm a fan. I assume that you were a J. Cole fan. I mean, it's fine. Because I've heard you listen to J. Cole on multiple occasions. 
unprompted. I got some songs on a playlist. And whereas I don't know if I've listened to J. Cole since like 2015. And that's fine. New album, My Delete Eight Later, is out now, but it is over for J. Cole. I can't listen to this guy. He can never, never throw his hat in the ring of a rap beef ever again. He's been sitting around his entire career saying, I'm waiting for the next person to attack me so I can show him what it's about. He does it, it don't hit, and then he quits. He takes his ball and go home. It is a sad tale. Career suicide. He's been taking the easy route forever. What's that? Said he's been taking the easy route forever. I mean, but he's been claiming like he wants to smoke. He's been up here talking like he's a chimney and the motherfucker turns out to be a gas grill. (laughs) You ain't wrong. It's over. It's done. We out of here. All right. Well, I, I, yeah. That's all time we have for today's episode. Go to thecrazetown.com and subscribe for Jonas. TNT. Oh, yeah.